It's known as the center of the aerospace testing universe and it's located right here in southeast Kern County. Edwards Air Force Base is one of the largest Air Force bases in the United States and amid this coronavirus pandemic, they have a new mission. Uh, there's no better time to actually be a leader in the Air Force because everything you're doing is, is huge and very important. Edwards Air Force Base is still performing essential military operations amid the coronavirus pandemic. The base, which is a hub for aeronautic testing, is now repurposing some of its resources to battle the virus. Enter the base's Makerspace Workshop, where we find Master Sergeant Jason Greenwell. He's normally the base's career Going assistance director, but he also has an emphasis in electronic warfare. What we found is that uh, UVC can help to combat the virus and, and many other viruses as well. Greenwell is building a robot that will be able to kill traces of the virus by exposing it to 15 seconds of UVC light. Uh, if, you, if you want to, there'll be a camera on it. According to the Columbia University Center for Radiological Research, UVC light is potentially lethal for viruses in the air. It will map out the building. Well, it'll go around the building and uh, have this UVC light and kind of stay in an area for a certain amount of time, then move to the next area. The project is in the early stages of development, but Greenwell hopes to program the robot to work autonomously, similar to a Roomba vacuum cleaner. That way it can disinfect rooms without people having to go in and risk their own health. Greenwell saying there are already items like this out there. But they range anywhere from 100k up to a million dollars and that's that's not feasible in a lot of situations. Greenwell says he expects to have a prototype done within the next couple of weeks. Any design made will be sent to Air Force headquarters. And then we push it out uh, to not only the rest of the Air Force but the DOD and because these are open source um, we share these with the civilians as well. We have much more to show from our visit to Edwards Air Force Base. Tomorrow morning on 23 ABC News, we'll take a look at Makerspace's efforts to create 3D printed face masks. But for now in Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23 ABC, connecting you.